Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're going to be opening up the next 1UP box. So if you guys aren't familiar, 1UP box is a monthly subscription box. You pay a little bit of money, and you're supposed to get at least your money out of it. That's not the official line. The official line is you get like doubles your, double your money out of it. That doesn't seem to be the case normally, but uh, I count it okay if you just get your money's worth, which doesn't usually happen, but you never know. This is the last company that's sending me a subscription box currently. It's kind of funny. After uh, Loot Crate said, hey, we're not going to send you any more boxes because you're not selling them, I said, fine, you know, whatever. That's the way it goes. Uh, another company contacted me. They said, hey, we do licensed shirts. We give out a box of licensed shirts every month, like uh, comic book or video game or whatever. Shirts. Do you want to do boxes? unboxings for us I'm like yeah that's awesome and then the next thing i know is i get a single shirt from them that's not a licensed shirt and it's from like a sub company from them i'm like hey this isn't what you guys said you were going to send what am i supposed to do with this haven't heard back from them so as of right now we only have the one up box so let's hope that this is going to be a fun box to open now the only real problem i have with the one up box is that it's almost never licensed product most of the product in it is just uh you know un unlicensed like cartoon drawings of characters that aren't quite right things like that so we'll see what's inside first thing we have is a one-up box exclusive little item let's see what this is oh also every month the box is themed i never know what the theme is ahead of time so i can't tell you what it is i guess we'll We'll try to figure it out, but it's almost never possible to figure out. We'll see. We have, it looks like earbuds. It's earbuds. What do we have on here? This might be okay. They're flat corded earbuds, which is cool. They don't tangle. Downside is they're purple, like a pastel-y purple. And then the uh, cord part, which is rather substantial. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got like uh, cartoon drawings of all kinds of different heroes, both DC it looks like and Marvel and Mario. Is that Okay, let's let's go through this real quick. We have Mario, Iron Man, Wonder Woman, Robin, Batman, Captain America, Iron Man, Superman, Hulk. Uh they're all kind of cut off here and there. I think that's all of them. Spider-Man if I didn't say him. That's interesting. If they work, that's kind of cool. I don't like this kind of earbud, the one that goes actually in your ear canal. I like the ones that sit outside. But these are kind of cool. I mean, other than being purple, but who cares? I don't leave the house anyway. So that's fine. If they work nicely, then that's good. I really only ever buy very cheap headphones because I break them all the time or lose them or whatever. So I find cheap ones that are really good. Like I don't spend more than like 12 bucks, which is not a lot at all compared to some of the other ones. But there's a lot of cheaper ones out there, so we'll see if these are actually any good. Next thing we have is, well this is kind of cool, it's a licensed thing and it's from NECA. This is one of their scalers and we have Spider-Man, which is probably the most appropriate scaler of them all. Oh well, the more blood, the better I guess. If I, if I lose a digit, I bet you the views go up once the word gets out. So I've never actually had one of these. You guys know I'm a big fan of NECA. Most of what they do is really awesome and the other stuff I'm just not familiar with, so... I can't speak to it. And this is one of those other stuffs. There we go. So that's what you do. You just pull on it really, really hard and eventually it comes out. So I guess what the idea is, is that you take them off of this and you put it on like a cord for something. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of credit for that. The headphones are kind of a nice touch. Who doesn't need a pair of headphones if they're any good? And then Spider-Man. What do we have here? It says pow, bang, zap, and bam. And it looks like they're just magnets. And then there's our pin. So our pin, so it's very magnetic apparently, our pin will give away our theme. But so far we have Spider-Man, then we have everybody, and then we have this. I'm guessing the theme is just comics in general. Let's see what this is. The theme is genius. That's the pin. And it, the theme is genius. So... Peter Parker? Is Peter Parker technically a genius? I don't know. Maybe he is. I didn't think he was that smart. I remember him struggling in school when he was being Spider-Man. And I know that that's because he was being Spider-Man, but if you're a genius, you probably still wouldn't struggle. I mean, I didn't do any of my schoolwork, and I, I got all kinds of good grades. Anyway, 
They're, you know, they're nice quality, actually. Let's let's take one out. Yeah, so if you're one of those kind of people that likes to put stuff on your fridge, these would be good for you. These are nice little comic book themed magnets. I, uh, I would definitely, I would say these are okay. Alright, so we're, it's not a bad box so far. Maybe they're stepping up their game. Next thing we have is something that's similar to the Flash logo, but is not the Flash logo. And I guess that is to say that Barry Allen is also very smart. Though, if memory serves, much like Peter Parker, not, not a genius. But here we have it. It's, it feels like an iron-on patch. I guess that's okay. Uh, we have this, which shows us what's in the packaging, or what's in the box. So we have the superhero, superhero earbuds, NECA scalers. Oh, you could have got Batman, Iron Man, or Joker also. Why couldn't I get Batman? That isn't cool. We got the lightning patch and then the magnets. And now we'll test out the shirt. If the shirt's good, the box is definitely a plus this time. Hopefully it's licensed. Is it licensed? Gildan, it is not licensed. What's the shirt? It is... Batman's head with Superman's chest with Flash's, Flash's fists. That's okay, I guess. I mean, for being a goofy thing, I guess that's okay. So this crate, uh, while it's probably not technically worth the money, this one was better than most, and I can't say I'm upset by what's inside, so this one's going to get a half thumbs up. That's my new metric. So it's definitely okay, but not good, and I can't say I necessarily recommend it, but... But you saw what was in it. If you like that kind of stuff, then uh, I think I'll have a link in the description for you to buy a, buy a crate if you want to. But you can see they're not exactly impressive, but they're probably good enough. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.